Hello everyone. Today we discuss about marketing ethics. To understand the importance of ethics in marketing decision making, it is necessary to examine factors that influence ethical decision. These are personal, moral, and philosophy, organizational relationship, and opportunities also. They are interviewed in determining ethical decisions in marketing. Now, marketing ethics is one of the most important marketing solutions, but also one of the most misunderstood and controversial concepts in marketing. There is no universal approach to marketing ethics yet. However, marketing ethics is important to promote marketing solutions that is important to promote also marketing solutions are both acceptable to the company and beneficial to society now ethics refers to moral judgment for decisions and actions as right or wrong based on accepted principles of behavior thus in marketing ethics present moral principles that define right and wrong behavior in marketing. Most major ethical issues are formalized by laws and regulations according to the standards of society. But marketing ethics exceeds legal issues, which is why ethical marketing solutions encourages mutual understanding between society and businesses. Now, ethics is individual behavior and many differ between people. Marketers, although in some cases act in their own interest, must comply with the standards of accepted conduct to guide all marketing decisions. They should be in accordance with moral principle, which is based on consumers usually take unethical marketing activities such as false advertising, intentional sales of harmful products, etc. As unacceptable and often refuse to enter into business relationship with people who have such behavior. Therefore, marketing decisions should be evaluated by the position of ethics. Everyone, however, has different ideas about, uh, about marketing. And marketing decisions should be evaluated by the position of ethics. Everyone, however, has different ideas about what is ethical and what is unethical depending on personal ideas and life experience. Many ethical decisions in marketing are made by groups rather than individuals. These decisions are based on business goals rather than personal goals. Marketing ethical or ethics decisions in marketing includes answering questions such as what is deceptive advertising, what is bravery in private sale, and what is a false statement about a product. Now these and other ethical issues for some people seem clear and easy to solve. But in reality, years of experience are needed to deal with them. For example, whether the proposal for a seller to a buyer to make them to a restaurant can be accepted as a bribe or as a good communicative practice to improve sales. Now, regardless how a person or company considered the admissibility of an action if the society believes that it is unacceptable or 
unethical, then this view directly affects the company's ability to achieve its objectives. To understand the importance of ethics in marketing decision making is necessary to examine the factors influencing ethical decision making. These are personal moral philosophy, organizational relationship and opportunities. They are interviewed in determining mining ethical decisions in marketing. Moral philosophy includes principles or rules that individuals use to determine their mood of behavior. These are leadership positions to resolve conflicts and provide mutual benefits for all members of society. People learn these principles and rules through contacts with family, members, social groups, religion and education. Any moral philosophy has its own concept of equity and ethics and rules of conduct. Two distinct moral philosophies deserve attention and utilizations and ethical formalizations. Now, the moral philosophies are aimed at maximizing the greatest good for the greatest number of people and utilitarians judge an action based on the consequences for all the people affected by these actions. In a situations with ethical component and utilitarians compare all options and choose the one of that promises the best results according to them. Unethical would be any action leading to personal gain at the expense of society as a whole. Now ethical formalism is associated with development of social rules of behavior that focus on the intention associated with a particular behavior and the rights of the individuals when it is determined whether a behavior is assessed as a general rule, not interested in the alternatives. Behavior is assessed on the basis of whether the violation of rights of the individual and the universal rules, the golden rule of ethical formulations or formalism is due to other as you would have them to do you. In marketing, ethical formalism is consistent with the idea of consumer choice. For example, consumer have a right to know about possible defects in a product. Now studies shows that though moral philosophies and values enter in the decisions of business, they are not its central component that determines decision, action and policies of uh, policies of a company. This shows why individuals change their moral philosophy between home and work and why personal values are only one part of the overall value system of the company. Ethical behavior should be function of two dimensions of the central structure of the company, first values and traditions of the company, corporate culture and secondly, personal moral philosophies of the members of the company. Employees perceived some measures of moral responsibility and agreed to obey the rules of the company and standards operating procedures. So when 
a marketer decides to behave unethically or even illegally it may be due to pressure from competitors or the benefits provided by the company people learn personal moral philosophers or philosophies and therefore ethical behavior not only from society as a whole but also from members of their social group and their environment in the company relationship with employees colleagues or superiors create ethical problems such as maintaining confidentiality in personal relationship meet the obligations responsibilities and mutual agreements and avoid undue pressures which can make others not behave ethically employees may not engage in activities that they believe that create ethical problems for example the seller may be forced to lie to customer on the phone also also an employee who sees another employee to lie to a consumer or customer must decide whether to report to case marketing managers should carefully balance their obligations to owners or shareholder who have hired them to achieve company goals as well as employees who are turning to them to the guided more over managers have to comply with also with the desire of the society and ethical evolution attainment of ethical balance between these areas in a difficult task most experts stress that the general manager in charge of marketing defines the ethical tone of the entire marketing organization lower level managers are guided by senior management but they also impose some of their personal values of the company these interactions between corporate culture and executive management helps to identify the critical value of the company employees in turn is a conflict between what is expected of them as employee and manager and what they expect of themselves based on their personal ethical standards the possibilities are other pressures that can determine whether a person will behave ethically the opportunity is a favorable set of conditions that put barriers or provide rewards awards may be internal i external internal rewards are feelings of goodness and value that one feels after a noble action and extrinsic rewards are what people expect to receive from others in terms of the values generated and provided on a reciprocal basis they often receive from superior in the form of praise promotions or salary increase experience shows that if a marketer uses the possibility of unethical behavior and is rewarded but not punished he can repeat such action gain when the opportunity arises therefore the bigger rewards and the smaller penalties for unethical behavior the greater likelihood to practice such behavior developing a sense of ethics is important for understanding the marketing ethics when a business makes consumers feels deceives or manipulated ethical issues arise regardless of the legality of this activity ethical problems arise from conflict of marketing experience to achieve the company's goals 
and wishes for a safe and reliable products. Regardless of the cause of the ethical problems, once they are identified, marketers and companies have to uh, decide how to deal with them. Ethical issues associated with the product arises when marketers cannot put risk in the issue use of product or cannot provide information about its function, value and use with increasing the pressure to return the product components with poor quality to reduce cost. Ethical problems arises when marketers fail to inform customers about changes in the quality of the product which is a form of informity about the nature of the product and commissions process provide a variety of situations that may pose ethical problems for example false or misleading advertising false and manipulated sales promotion and more so that's the end of the video my friends if you like my video please subscribe share like my blogs thanks a lot for watching